Hi, this is Hidi Brand. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a PowerPoint-like presentation with a free software, OpenOffice, you can use on your PC, or on your Mac, whatever you have, or your Linux. Here, you can use the PowerPoint presentation, for instance, to present in your conference room for tutorials or whatever you want. Here in the conference room, I'm using, you can uh, basically chat, upload a presentation and show a presentation. So that's one of them. Uh, let's get there, for instance, basic presentation. And then you can upload YouTube videos and you can also share your desktop. So here we're just going to see this part here, upload a PowerPoint presentation. So what you do, you just simply go to openoffice.org and then you just click on I want to download OpenOffice and there you're just going to select which computer system you have, which platform and then you're going to select a language and a version. So here I advise you to get the um, latest version 4.1.1 here and at the time of this recording then once you have done this you just simply when it's uploaded on your computer you simply open 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 office and you see you can make these types of presentation and then you just simply say um there new presentation so you see you can do like text documents like word documents spreadsheet presentation drawing database Etc. Business cards, labels, etc. So here I'm just gonna do presentation because that's what we're covering today. Then I'm going to click on empty presentation. You can also click on from template if you already have some templates. There you're gonna have presentate different presentation backgrounds. So you can have original, which is this one, black and white, blue border, blue lines and gradient. So you can take a look if there's anything that you like. Usually whatever you're going to, you're going to select here, I mean, you, you pretty have to, to be uh, set on what you're going to select because if you change it later, it could also affect uh, your you know, page formatting. So glacier, green, keyboard. So depending on what type of presentation you're going to uh, have, you can you know, select the appropriate one. I'm just going to select original here, then click on next, then create, no effects, okay. You have different options that you can explore further here. I'm just going to show you really the basics. So here you're just going to um, look at layouts. And this is what you're going to be able to select, the different page layouts that you can select depending on how you want to organize your presentation what you have to write in there and uh, you can just change it for every single page okay so here I'm just gonna select this one and let's say I'm gonna say uh, presentation there you can of course you can fully edit your text format policy and bold and so on and so forth color etc then here I'm just going to change it and select this one instead, presentation, so that's page one. Then when you want to get uh, the second slide, you just click on the plus here and you just click, it's going to add another slide. So second slide here for this slide, I just want to select a different layout. So let's say um, this one or this one. And here I'm going to say, um, benefit number one for instance whatever and then whatever you want to write so that's how you can now you can just edit your text however you want right it's pretty basic to understand now uh, here if you want to insert an image as I inserted images you just click on insert and then you just click on picture from file so you have to have the picture uploaded on your computer. It used to be you could just copy from uh, the internet, copy and paste. It may work again right now. It, it hasn't worked lately for me. So you may want to try because that saves you one step. Uh, here I'm just going to select one picture.
there let's select this one there you go so you see it's uh it's pretty big so here you can adjust it no problem i advise you to to not change um the um you know you can change the size of the picture but not the proportions otherwise your image is going to look weird so what i do here on my mac is that i press on shift and control or oh, shift and command at the same time so i just select first okay the arrow and then shift command and then i can just resize it without changing the proportions and then you can just drag it to wherever you want okay so here, hold on, I'm just going to delete this, I'm going to maybe just add the text right here, alright, okay, so here you can just modify uh, as you wish, I'm just going to make it a little bigger, alright, okay, then once you're done, then you just select the next slide, right? Third slide. What you want to do, we'll just watch out here. You have a, you have a function that says hide slide. It's just going to gray it out. And what it does, it just really hides it. So you just want to make sure that it shows. Otherwise, it won't show on your presentation. Then if you want to delete one slide, you simply right click. And then you just go delete slide, all right? Once you're done with your presentation, and here you can change a little bit. See here, it's like a white background. You can actually change that a little bit when you click on master pages. You can get this type of background, which is pretty neat. Um, that one as well. You see, you just have, well, depending if you're adding pictures, it's usually better to have a wider background, I would say. Uh, let's see, maybe this one. There we go, pretty good. So now you see you just have different different choices. This one looks pretty cool too. So here of course depending on you know the background you're picking, then you just have to adjust it so it looks good, right? Alright, and same here. You just want to adjust this a little bit. There we go. Alright. So once you're done with your presentation, you just here you can just simply and I just want to just Explore a little bit because you can do way more than what I'm just showing you. Um, this is not an advanced tutorial. It's just basically to show you how to use it so you can upload it on your um, conference room. So here you can do custom animations, slide transition, okay. And then once you're done, you just click on save as. You name your um, presentation, okay. Then you just go back to your conference room. And there, you're just going to click on Upload, Browse, and there, let's say, we're just going to use this one, okay? And you just open, click on Open, and then you're going to have to click on Upload to upload it to your conference room. When it's done, you get that little beep. And then there you go, it's right there. When you want to play it, you simply click on the uh, arrow. And there you go. Now, if you want to get rid of this so it doesn't bother you during your presentation, because you see here, you can just play it automatically, so it will just play by itself. I prefer to just do it manually because it depends. Sometimes I spend more time on one slide and not as much on another one. You see how it's bugging me a little bit here? So here, I'm just gonna click on this. And there you go. It's not bugging you anymore. So now you just see it's slide two of nine. You just go like three of nine. So it's really neat because with presentation, you can as well talk at the same time and have your video showing right here so people can see you as well as see your presentation. So it's, it's really helpful when you do a presentation because, you know, there's just, it highlights some points for uh, the viewer, for, the, for your guest. And it also helps you, um, you know, to, to just have, you know, basic outlines of what you're going to talk about, and um, and that's it. So now that's pretty much it. Oh no, one more thing. Here, uh, you can here the chat is enabled, right? But if you decide to activate full screen mode, then your guest won't be able to chat with you if they want. If you're asking them a question, you know, they won't be able to type. Okay. 
So that's basically it for this presentation. Um, what I would like to tell you is that, yes, just check out real quick um, Pure Leverage. I get this conference room from Pure Leverage, and Pure Leverage is basically your online marketing toolbox um, that every business needs. It's really cheap. It's $24.95 a month with a $1 trial. And what you're getting is you're getting a professional autoresponder similar to Aweber, guest response, etc. Uh, you also getting and way cheaper. And you're also getting your own lead capture system where you can create your cap your lead capture pages. Your capture pages, sorry, for any business to promote any business you'd like. Any business that you liked and then you have your video email service which enables you to send emails with a video conference room so that's what I was just showing you and uh, up to like a hundred uh, guests and then you can upgrade to 250 then you have recorded calls live trainings internet marketing trainings that are really really good and then of course so this is all level one at 24.95 and then you can also upgrade to get uh, more from the VIP status, okay? So this is it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.